Hello, my name is Kuba from Evermotion and today I will show you how to create a realistic orange juice shader using V-Ray. First of all, we have to find a nice photo reference in the internet and then place it in our 3D Studio Max. Then we have to use Spline to create a nice outline of the glass model. So first of all let's create some simple points and then use Bezier option on the vertices. It will allow us to create nice smooth line. As you can see I've increased interpolation steps from 2 to 4 to help reduce unwanted edges. Now we just have to adjust the handles that are attached to our vertices to match our curvatures with the glass. Remember that you can always add additional vertices where needed using refine option in Splan. After completing our spline and outlining half of our glass, we are ready to use lathe modifier. Lathe modifier allows us to create a 360 geometrical object from spline. First we have to check if our axis positioning is correct. As we can see we have some problems with the vertices uh, on the bottom. We have to check well core option to get rid of this problem. I will increase steps to 8 and play a little bit with the handles to correct some of the errors in our curvature. Now I will decrease interpolation a little bit because um, the mesh at the bottom has a little bit too many polys. And now I will have to add some connects to make the density of the polygons the same through the whole object. I will be using flow connect to achieve this. Flow connect will add connect and it will keep curvature untouched. Now we are ready to add shell modifier to create thickness to our glass. Let's convert our object to polygon and now we will have to create some thickness at the bottom. The easiest way to do this is to select one vertex at the bottom and convert it to poly selection and add grow. Okay, now let's delete these polygons. Let's select our border. I'll convert it to polys and use 
hide unselected options and now it is much clearer to us what is happening inside the object. Let's create some a little bump at the bottom of the glass. by adding some connects and moving polygons upwards. Ok, right now we can unhide all the polygons. Let's make a little adjustment at the top of our glass because our reference glass has a little some kind of bulge at the top edge so let's make it as well so let's extrude top faces a little bit upwards and now let's select ring, convert it to poly selection and use bevel option to add a little bump. Now we may add Turbo Smooth modifier, but before it we have to add some connects under our bulge to help polys look correct. Ok, our glass is ready now. In the next step we have to create orange juice inside of it. To create the juice we have to go back to our editable poly. Let's select the bottom face and use grow until we reach desired level. Ok, now we have to detach these polygons as a clone. Let's select our juice and use cap at the top of it. Now we have to invert our object because right now the faces, the face normals are directed in the wrong way. So you have to use flip option. Now we have to scale our object so it goes a little bit over the border of the inside of the glass. something like this. Let's move it a little bit downwards also. Ok, now we have to add a little bump at the top edge of our liquid because that's what usually happens when the liquid touches another surface. So let's use inset two times now make a loop and move this edge a little bit upwards and scale it. I have to add another connect right there before we use Turbo Smooth again. And let's also chamfer this loop. Now let's look 
how it looks after turbo smooth. Okay, so our model is ready. The next step is to create shaders and and set up the studio. So first of all, let's look at our glass shader. It really is a very basic shader that is usually used uh, in the scenes. So it has IOR set to glass, like 1 and 63. I increased depth to 7 from 5. And it has reflect and uh, refract set to white. And also a little bit a little bit of fog color, so there is nothing really special going on here. Okay, so here is our studio setup. I have created some lights, and first light is the main light. Uh, as you can see, it lit the scene from the top, and it has only affect diffuse turned on. So let's preview how the scene looks with only one light turned on. So as you can see, at this moment nothing really is happening, because uh, our glass is completely invisible, it doesn't reflect anything at all, and we have only one light from up above to lead the bottom of our scene. So the next step is to enable some nice reflections on the glass. I'm always using a V-Ray Dome Light with HDR option on. As you can see, uh, I've turned off Affect Diffuse because I don't want uh, HDR map to lead the scene. Only to be visible in specular and reflections. This map is a, some simple room with only grayscale colors. So let's turn this on and let's see the result. So right now our glass looks much more interesting than before because uh, at least uh, it's not invisible because reflections are projected nicely on the surface. There's one problem um, that our edges of the glass are still blending with our studio. So this is one trick that I'm always using. Uh, I'm placing uh, light behind the object with the include option and I'm only using it for the reflections. So let's see how this trick really works. So as you can see the edges of the glass are now really nicely pronounced. And finally our glass looks like it should. Okay, the last thing is our juice shader. It's a little bit more complicated than the glass shader. Uh, first of all, mm, let's set uh, our diffuse color to uh, yellow-orange. Let's set reflect color almost to the white. We have to choose correct IOR number that is different than the glass. The water IOR is usually 1.3, so I'm using 1.4 for the juice. I've also increased depths to the 7. And the next thing uh, we have to set refract uh, not to maximum but something like 200 because juice is not like water and it blocks some light. To enable the translucency effect that is uh, visible in juice we have to enable a few options here. First of all it only works when the glossiness of the refract is below 1. You have also uh, use, you should use fog color. Mm, this color works best for this setup. 
this is multiplier uh, I'll to 0.5 to achieve stronger result and finally I want to enable translucency and choose hybrid model from the list the most important option is the light multiplier it controls the strength of the translucency effect I've set it to 12 you should always set your scene units to the real world and use thickness accordingly so let's see how this shader works in our studio setup okay so here's our shader as you can see and because have only one diffuse light from above the only these parts these parts looks okay but this is a little bit too dark so let's turn on the remaining lights in the scene I will use uh, lights from the both sides that have uh, only diffuse affect diffuse on because I don't want uh, see them in the reflections. Reflections are handled by this HDR. I've also created direct light to create a strong shadow over here. So let's see how it works. So here is our final result with all the lights turned on. As you can see uh, the boat Vray lights and the direct light help to achieve nice looking translucency effect. I've also put inside a straw object to to better see the effect of the glossiness of the juice. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you later.